up on the uh, uh, we'll put put, put the, the these ugly folk up on the uh, internet and see how how it plays tonight uh, anyway uh, hi hi uh, 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 Tony Hello. how are you Tony oh I didn't know you were talking to me I'm okay yeah your name's Tony I think so. yeah <laughs> My family calls me Anthony. Anthony. Anyway, okay. Anthony. I, I, okay. Yeah. Anthony. Okay. Anthony. Anthony. Come back for dinner, oh, Anthony. Yeah. Wait a you hear that a lot, don't you? Yeah. Still yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, come to dinner, Anthony. Now, you 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 uh, are you still living in the basement? No. Uh, no, I'm actually upstairs. I go to the basement. It's like my fortress of solitude because my books are down there, <laughs> my computer. So when I want to read and stuff, I'll go downstairs. But I'll come up too. Like right now, I'm upstairs. Like he's a big comic book guy. Now let me ask yeah. you, Miranda, because you're you're into a lot of stuff. Are you in? Were you ever into comic books? Uh, I wasn't until recently. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My, you know, when I was little, my dad caught me thumbing through some um at a uh at a used bookstore and and bought me a couple and then uh saw me looking at some over at costco one time got me this entire like the entire package that they sold you know because when you buy things at costco it has to come in bulk right yeah so right. i, I fact, still I, have I, those I, somewhere I, but I, I, I just never got into it a costco then, costco just recently started an adoption agency did you know that and oh, wow. there's just a, one problem with the adoption agency. Yeah, you, you got to get them you got to get two of them at the same time, yeah. and they they're taped together when you get them. So. Yeah. Do you know what you can get at Costco? You ready for this? Cars? No, caskets. Oh, stop! And cremation. Them in bulk too? If you go on to the Costco site, they have caskets. Oh. Oh, and they also have out. cream uh, 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 urns for the ashes as well. Are now, they taped together? Uh, no, I I think yeah <laughs> yeah you have to. I'm, I'm gonna have to die with my wife at the same time in order to get the financial advantage yeah. out of it. Uh, now I I'm wondering if if I like you know on the bottom of the casket it says Kirkland. <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Do they I'm really look it up. Cash? I'm looking up right now. Yeah. Are you at, joking? I'm not joking. Look on site there. Oh, uh, I'm going to open up the tab. Really? Yeah. Every, 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 yep. Well, I've just lost every... Playing it. <laughs> expedited <laughs> shipping caskets, yeah. uh, urns, keepsakes, and pet urns, too. The, the, pet urns. Pet urns as well? Yes, pet urns. Yeah. I could use them for my Duncan. You could have used them for your Frequently dog. Frequently asked questions about caskets. Oh, yeah, they have expedited service. I will answer any questions. Yeah, what does that mean? You get it to your caskets. Quick? Yeah, what does it what does it say? Because I don't must have read up. information before purchasing a casket. Yeah. Um oh, why is Costco oh my God, you're right. It's horrible. Why is first question is why is Costco wholesale selling caskets as a service to our members? Oh I I would, I would save money going to Costco for my pet. I think the reason is they want to make your last dollar out of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Make sure your last. Dollar. I thought you were lying. You're telling the truth. Wait a minute. They've uh, got uh, sympathy uh, flowers. Miranda. Now, if you don't keep your membership current by the time that you pass away, do they revoke it? The the casket. Well, can, do, <laughs> do they still deliver? Well, does it? They won't let you in the door. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Do you order these in advance or when the person has died? I mean, I'm not oh, buying one of these I, things and storing it in my in my house. Them. You know, keep it in your living room. How long room. before I receive? Well, it's got expedited shipping, so obviously they're looking at. Um, well, expedited shipping, they can get it to you the next day, I and mean, they would yeah. probably have so to. Yeah, but don't, don't you want to test yours out first? I mean, I want I want to <laughs> buy one, make sure it's comfortable. If I'm going to be spending the you know eternity in it, it's got to be comfortable. Yeah. Like, they have kiss caskets. As well, well. <laughs> well, here what? Kiss the rock band Kiss. Yeah. They make caskets. No, the Kiss caskets. I, it, no, Absolutely. You, uh, what <sighs> at, at Costco? Not at Costco. Just the rock oh, band Kiss okay. makes caskets. Really? Oh, well, they'll yeah. they'll put their faces on it. So anyway, what was it saying yeah. on the on the Costco side about the? Uh, uh, it's uh, expedited shipping. Um, place. Place an order for expedited delivery. You must call Universal Casket Company directly. Blah blah blah. And um, 
so we got to call the number. You can't just order it from online. Yeah. Are there so any accessories? Of... Any accessories you can get, like a, yeah, a la flat. an interior latch in case you turn into a zombie and want to get out? <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. They, they do have flowers though. Eat uh, the flower yes. thing. Yeah. Is but... this a lot of money for flowers? Three fifty. <laughs> what do you mean? A lot of money. They for got flowers. sympathy flowers. <laughs> For my for my relatives who I dislike, if I could save some money, I like some going from Costco. Well, you know something. I bought flowers at Costco. You know, you would think like on on uh, Valentine's Day, you know, and you would think these flowers probably rot pretty fast. They were the longest lasting flowers I ever bought. They must have gone for a week and a half before I they finally. I thought you were joking out. about the caskets, but they have everything. Yep. Yep. They got the caskets, and uh, uh, they have expedited shipping, and. Um, uh, uh, oh, hold on. Here's, here's Charlene. Pizza. She needs a place to sleep. Oh, uh, well, we'll get her a casket. <laughs> we'll get her. We'll get her a casket. <laughs> Don't say yeah. that. Yeah, but I, mean, oh, I could use a casket right now. Yeah. Really? And they look comfortable. Well, who I cares? Mean, who cares if they're comfortable? You know, my father once said to me, "When I die, buy, bury me in the cheapest casket you can find, because I don't want yeah. what? What do I need silk sheets for? I'm dead." You know, so well, we buried yeah, the, him in a yeah, shoebox. I mean, the what? caskets look comfy, and, and then you might as well try them out while you're alive because when you're dead, you're not going to experience the comfort of these lavish caskets. I well, called yeah. to wish Patrick happy birthday. Oh, okay, thank you for changing the conversation. Uh, <laughs> uh, we uh, don't care about Patrick's birthday anymore. We're talking about caskets. Yeah, but but right. when you, Pat Patrick, you're when you're young. Now, uh, now uh, what I think, I, now, when I die, I think I want to. Uh, I think my girlfriend wants to cremate me. I, I have no say so in this. So please, if I do die, would you please get a hold of her and say you can't is, is cremate Is she planning on waiting until you're dead before cremating you, or? I think she uh, <laughs> occasionally, when she lets go with a fart and lights a match, I think I may actually be cremated right then and there. Yeah. But. Uh, 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 but I'm thinking maybe I want to be cremated. Why? Well, and well, here's my thinking. Uh, he, I think I might want to be cremated because, uh, uh, I, I, and then I want to take my cremated remains and and have somebody flush me down the toilet, so oh. that so that all those turtles I owned years ago can get even with me. Here he comes, that son of a bitch, yeah. flush me down, <laughs> pay <Payback>. back. <laughs> Yeah. This is Alex. Come I on. heard there were alligators in the uh, New York City um, uh, <laughs> subterranean system. There, that, that was a uh, a myth. It was a rumor. It was a myth. I, yeah. I believe it was a myth, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> right. But uh, um, uh, you know, I mean, I, the fact that you can buy a, 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 a casket at, at Costco is, I think, amazing. It is kind of fun. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I think they. Some you know, cradle to grave. You can probably get, you know, all, yep, baby all your stuff, diapers, baby diapers. 12, uh, 12 99 99 is the cheapest one. What cheapest casket? Yeah. Well, they go up to two ninety nine ninety nine. It's the most, uh, two. Uh, yes. Uh, Miranda. Actually, I, th I think you're looking at the, uh, expedited shipping. If you just go to the standard shipping, uh, the mother casket and in God's care casket are both nine hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Really, really. Cool. Well, but here's the problem. Even better bargain. The problem <laughs> for you Gentiles, yeah. that's just fine. Okay, for us Jews, you we have to be buried within forty eight hours. Oh, I thought it was plus we have to get it wholesale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we're getting it wholesale at Costco. So if we didn't do expedited, it would go beyond that. And and what happens to all the Muslims out there? They need to b bury their dead within 24 hours. Well, the, I think Muslims they uh, just stick the wooden box uh, tr traditionally. From uh, they the they use a backhoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on! What are we doing here? They're dead people. What are you making jokes about them for? Uh, well, Jay Carney's replacement's last name is Ernest. <laughs> I, I remember this guy, and he was involved in something else a while back, and I can't remember what, but it was some kind of controversy. 
Uh, was it a magazine? Uh, no, he, he had taken over for Jay Carney, and then he had said something, and it was like wrong or something. Oh. I, I, I can't remember the exact uh, uh, instance on that. But you oh. might look up his name and then see if there are any old Google News stories about oh. this guy. Obama says he's a straight shooter. <laughs> yeah. And he's going to tell it like it is. Yeah, well, if your boss doesn't, why should you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, I, I, I mean, those press secretaries, you know, they're just uh, the last, the last one in a line of uh, turd polishers, right? So, well, no, there's a little more than just turd polishing that goes on there. I mean, uh, it, 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 there is a, it is a, uh, he is there uh, to excuse uh, to to do the. He has marching orders all the time. Yeah, and you can't blame him if he does the marching orders. I don't. Bl you know? I don't blame these guys at all. Like you said, these these press secretaries, they, you know, they, uh, their work's good. They got to be exhausted because you know all they're doing is they got to defend whatever their president is telling them to do, and it's bullshit. And I don't know how much they know. Yeah. Hopefully, for their own sake, they're kept out of the loop to some degree. Well, I'll tell you, if I ever became president, I know who I'm making my press secretary. Josh. Uh, Ruben? Josh. <laughs> Michael Heinen, are you there? Yeah. Hello, Michael. How are you this evening? Good, good. You called us once before, didn't you? I'm sorry, what's that? You called us once before, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I had a hard time uh, keeping it connected, though, for some reason. Okay, we well, sound great tonight. Excellent. But, but anyway, I was just saying I want to make Josh Wheeler my uh, press secretary if I ever become president. And then you, Would you be willing to go out there and lie for me, Josh? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's a job. Yeah, yeah, I got no problem with that. Yeah. yeah, and then I, I think can David see, would do it, and I would love to be president and die in office and get buried in my Kirkland uh, uh, coffin. That'd be great. Can you see the Can you see the horses going down the, the street with the boots in the back uh, going backwards and and a Kirkland casket there in the in the hearse? <laughs> I, I think that would be just no, really uh, cool. I, I, I can't see that because De Blasio said that you can't have horse-drawn buggies in New York anymore. Well, I'm sure that if it were some kind of a state funeral, it would be fine. Not for De Blasio. And by the way, I'm all for the getting rid of those buggies because those horses, all oh, those poor or horses. Yes, Patrick. Didn't one just fucking die in the street <laughs> yeah, uh, this yeah. week? Oh, this and week? I, I yeah, and, and here's my question. And, and this is me making fun of your mayor. Yeah. Uh, he gave an order, just like Obama opened his gap and gives orders, and yet the fucking horses are still out there and dying. When are, when are they done? I mean, does he just talk and not do anything or what? Yeah, when are you, are you, you going to make good on your whole, uh, right. whole policy? I mean, it, it, it's like hope and change again. So de Blasio... He's out there saying, we're going to stop the horse, and then a fucking horse died in the street today. And he made that promise back in what, January? Yeah. Well, that just took one more off the street. You know? <laughs> it's, oh, oh, you know, but, but it is, you know. It, Did he shoot it? <laughs> you know, it, everybody uh, would like to think these horses are happy, but they're not treated very well. I don't Remember? like them doing that. Huh? I don't yeah. like them with the. I, I wish they would take them off the street there. Yeah. But yeah. he took him out of the park be... too, didn't he? Take him out of Central Park. Yeah, but there's still it's still concrete and it's still they're drawing you know carriages and so on. I'm gonna be shitting all over the place. Yeah, it's, yeah. Eh, I don't know. I can't agree. I agree with Alex. I don't like it. They do we really need to be pushed around by a horse? I mean, take a taxi where you gotta go. Well, I mean, everybody says, oh, it's so it's so romantic and it's wonderful and all of it that. Is. But you know, okay, we were we, uh, Miranda. How far are we away from having robot horses? <laughs> um, I have no clue. Because Elon Musk is working on Elon it. Elon Musk is working on <laughs> it. Oh, actually, you know what? Um, actually, they're here. They're called elect. You know, automated cars. <laughs> you know, oh, Google, Google made cars. one. Yeah, uh, BMW's <laughs> making one. Um, yeah, there's w a bunch of them. Would you trust getting into an automated car? Not after watching Silicon Valley. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was driving next to a Google car a couple weeks ago on uh, Highway 13, 
And I saw it said, you know, it said on the side there was a driver in the car, but uh, well, was it one of the Google Map cars? Yeah. The- uh, no, no, no. This was a Google driverless car. Uh, although there was a driver in the car, the car was actually doing the driving. I took a picture of it as I really. Passed. And how how well was it doing? It was in its lane, and it was doing the speed limit, which is uh, you know I can't say I was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, I just wouldn't. I guess maybe it's my age. I just wouldn't feel comfortable getting into a car that I wasn't didn't have some control over. You know. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there's an override. Uh, you know, it, it it had it had all the controls I could see inside, and the guy was just sitting there, and uh, the car had some sort of uh, thing on its roof that uh, that helped it navigate. Hmm. Is there is there a way, by the way, Miranda, that we could find out if uh, Google Earth is is mapping our area at any particular time? Uh, I I'm I'm sure people uh, report it. That's that's something I've never even given any thought because to. I think though. some people I'll have, to have get back to you. Some people have actually gotten together and like formed certain symbols and things like that because they knew that Google Earth was coming overhead. Now is that a satellite? That's a satellite thing, right? Google oh. Earth, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, uh, but uh, I, uh, it's amazing to me. So, Michael, you called. Uh, anything you, on your mind this evening? Uh, nothing right at the moment. I just um, a lot of times I catch the, um, you know, the uh, recorded version of it. Yeah. But um, no, I just love listening to you guys, and uh, you're really interesting, and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I was going to say hi to Patrick because I'm from Wisconsin to Patrick. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, Milwaukee. So we're probably actually probably neighbors. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Milwaukee too. So. Yeah, yeah. So I know we're both in the same area. I live around Miller Park. So um, okay. I don't know, I don't know what. Miles you know, well, you know, it's getting to sound like though you're north, 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 more north than Patrick is, right? Um. No, actually, yeah. he he would almost be due east from where I'm at. Because what I'm hearing is that Fargo a of, accent yeah, a lot coming of out of Mike. Minnesota Mike. nice there, you Which, know. Yeah. Uh, and Patrick doesn't have that And there. Patrick doesn't have that. Uh, that family was from north, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A, uh, but, we, uh, yeah, I live right by uh, Miller Park, uh, Patrick. Yeah, right my there. favorite place. Yeah. <laughs> is there a joke there? Is there something we're being left out yeah. of here? Miller Park. I hate Miller Park. Yes, Jeff. I hate my pants. Uh, why? Why yeah. do you hate Miller Park? Because he's paying his taxes for it. Oh, like oh, 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 yeah. oh. You know, yeah. it's Patrick's precious tax dollars. Yeah. And they just extended, and they just extended it again. So, yeah. yep. <laughs> right, Patrick. <laughs> Well, that's why Patrick's you're. Taxes. That's why you're a Republican anyway, right, Patrick? Is so that you don't have to pay taxes. No, yeah. you, we've gone through this already a hundred times. I don't bore everybody with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, uh, I noticed, uh, 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 Michael, that you have a picture there with uh, two kids. Are those your kids? Yeah, those are my kids. Yep. Yeah, they yeah, they they they're getting big, huh? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! See that? that there's that yeah. Wisconsin deal. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I watch oh, Fargo every week. There. Please don't oh. kill anybody. You know. Yeah. Um, anybody here oh. watch, watching the new Fargo, the yes. TV show? Is it not great? I am just amazed because I remember I told you at the beginning I was confused. Yeah. But by the end of the first episode, it got me. And if anything, the show is kind of taken more from maybe No Country for Old Men than Fargo as far as story wise. Well, Fargo because, was kind of No Country for Old Men too. Yeah, you know. but not. Yeah, but but uh, the Billy Bob Thorne character is a little bit like the unstoppable guy, you know. Yeah. Well, you know what I but, li- but what I like on that show yeah. especially is uh, Martin Freeman, is yeah. just amazing, uh-huh. just amazing. Uh, he's really terrific, um, and uh, uh, you know, Billy Bob now, Thornton is great, but but Martin Freeman is just um, yeah. just uh, terrific. 
Yeah. Um, I'll have to watch it again, rewatch, because, you know, I kind of watch it while I'm taking care of my mom and she's yeah. got her oxygen and everything. So I haven't gotten everything out of the show, but I'm going to have to rewatch it because it's really cool. So uh, has anybody been paying attention to any more of the uh, reaction to uh, Edward Snowden's uh, um, uh, interview on NBC? I guess I just watched it. I really haven't seen much reaction. Yeah, that happened today. Sir Carrie's well, pissed. Well, what's interesting was I saw uh, Daniel Ellsberg today, and and uh, a Carrie, John Carey, um, uh, the great uh, windsurfer, um, uh, John Carey, uh, got up and said, you know, if he were a real man, he'd come home. He's not like Daniel Ellsberg, who stayed here to fight the whole thing and so on. And then Ellsberg got interviewed by somebody about that comment, and he basically said, he basically he said, Carrie's a low life. He said, you know, he said, nothing could be further from the truth. He said, uh, I went through hell on trying to get a fair trial in this country, and I see every reason why Snowden doesn't want to come back until he's got some guarantees. So. Yeah. Makes sense. Sure. Phil is being exceptionally quiet. I'm trying to stir him up. Yeah. He's, oh, uh, he's, he's, I'm he's, looking for my Google uh, car photo, and I'm not having any luck finding it. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> There's your commitment as a Republican. <laughs> the I, was, I was wiping a tear for him, so. You are wiping a tear for who? For Snowden. Oh, really? Is that your... Is yeah, that... I was wiping mm. a tear so he could get a fair fucking trial after skirting away. Like a little baby. Well, wait a minute, Patrick, Patrick. Oh, man, come on. Patrick may have our first, I mean, and I may have our first fight. You know. Yeah, on his birthday, but, no But less. no, I'll take him out to dinner afterwards, and it'll, it'll be all right, okay? We're not having sex, though. So. <laughs> okay. Um, the thing is that, um, uh, you know, when we talk about fair trials, that's an absolute in this country. That isn't like, uh, oh fuck them, you know. We'll 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 try them and then we'll hang them, you know. I mean, in theory, but would we'll look at the South and before the civil rights and everything. How many fair trials were down there? Well, how fair a yeah. trial could he get when the Secretary of State is calling him a coward and a liar on television? That's, that's true. Yeah. Let me let me state my case here. Here we go, Patrick. If he would have never left country, I agree. A fair trial is an order, but because he fucking left and then he opened his gap, I don't give a fuck about him. I know you don't give a fuck no. about him, but, but he still if, his he, he still should stayed, get a fair trial. So why, he? why does he? If he would have stayed here yeah. and and opened his mouth, then I would be on your side saying so, he deserved a fair trial. But, so there are people uh, that don't deserve fair trials. Uh, no, he still he deserves a fair trial. <laughs> he left yeah. the fucking country, and now he wants a fair trial. Well, he's no different than a guy that leaves the scene of an accident, like a drunk driver or something that uh, you know causes uh, uh, an accident and then runs from the scene. What? But that doesn't that doesn't what? mean that. Yeah, well, oh. he cut and ran. But that doesn't mean that he shouldn't be, uh, he shouldn't come back and face trial, and he shouldn't, and he should have a fair one. That's what this country I, is all about. I do agree that he should come home, because that would make it, you know, he he like be a man and face it. You know, that's kind of the thing. And I understand what he's what, doing. What, what is this whole notion time, that you're a man if you come home and face it? Uh, uh, well, I mean, not specifically, but. I mean, I, I mean, hate I hate that term. If, they get, if he's looking I heard for a public opinion, I heard and a, he's yeah. looking for what he's doing, you know. But I heard he, it, I heard it coming out of look. I heard it coming out of um, uh, what's he, his name out of out of Kerry's ironically. mouth today too. He was like, oh, "Come home and be like a man." What what is like a man? What is that all about? What I'm going to come home to a place well, that's that isn't going to that is going to obviously it's, a female. I'm going to go back to a place where they got a lynch mob waiting for me, but I want to be a man. How about be responsible? And if, like I said last night. If he was so resolute in what he had yeah. and was so so-called patriotic, yeah. he would have never left the country 
just like you had Nathan Hale and how many other people yeah. throughout history. And how about uh, this? Malcolm X and Martin Luther King fighting for civil rights knew that there was a very good fucking possibility that they would be killed. And they were. Yes, but the and difference. Little whiny yeah. fuck. But the difference there is you couldn't do a civil <laughs> rights. You couldn't, you couldn't do a civil rights movement from from Moscow. Okay, you couldn't do a civil yeah, rights you movement. Get people you had to be here. The, a different, two entirely different situations. Right. Hold on a second. Miranda's got her hand up. Okay, Let, let's keep in mind, he's a whistleblower. You know, so any arguments comparing him to a civil rights activist or anything like that null and void he is a whistleblower and he's, just telling he's stuff. being you know he he revealed information <clears throat> to the sources that he did because he couldn't trust the new york times or or you know any other you know the washington post or any, any other major publication and and he fled the you know country. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll give you that. But when when the choice is you know being a whistleblower for you know you, you find stuff that and and you see it and say whoa 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 this is wrong and you happen to know that you're going to be pissing a lot of people off mm -hmm. and 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 guess what you know. If you're if someone like Snowden, you're willing to go to the point where you're going to say, you know, this is wrong. I need to stand up for this. And you're going up against the U.S. government. That's a scary proposition. I don't blame him for cutting and running. Uh, 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 you know, and, and yeah. you're absolutely right. He has no chance of getting a fair, fair trial here. Tony? Yeah, I, I agree with uh, with uh, what's I forgot Miranda. Miranda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you think about it, he gave up his whole life. Theoretically, he can never come back to the United States again. So if he has any family, he can never see them again. Well, don't don't whistleblowers have a certain a certain status? Hasn't that been established legally that uh, whistleblowers are, are are actually something we should revere? They they they're the people. They're the canary in the in the in the coal mine. Like the yeah. Enron and all that. Oh, look at the look Patrick's giving me. Wait a minute. Yeah, Let me blow I, this I, up full I, size for the television audience. Look at that look. What, what is that look saying, Patrick? That look is saying he's a weaselly little fuck. <laughs> and you know what? He had information, and he should have revealed it here on our soil if he wanted a it's... fucking fuck. Since he wasn't interested in being... <laughs> A responsible adult instead of saying but, a man but, 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 Why are you a responsible adult if my, you stay my around? My opinion is slowly changing. I'm, I'm becoming more and more against Patrick each time he opens his mouth. Well, if, uh, Pat, Patrick and I very seldom get yeah, this yeah, heated I, I, I about agree. anything. But it's like, who cares? Okay, now here's my opinion now. Who cares where he is? Who cares where he did it? It's what he said. And, and we can talk about where he said it and everything. I mean, if, if, if sure, maybe if, if he went to jail mm -hmm. and he came back, then he would have the parades of people like Free Edward Snowden, Free Edward Snowden. He's not getting that quite so much now, but he did what he did. It's done. I think he said he destroyed everything else he had or something, didn't he? But you know, he, no, no, he didn't say he destroyed it. No, here, here, whatever, you here, know, here's, he what, did what here's what he did. Here's what he said. He said he took, oh, he does not have in his possession any of the documents. I think they're probably, Glenn Greenwald probably has them. Uh, he said he didn't want to have them because that would make him a target not only uh, for the our government, but it would also make him a target for the Russians as well. And that he didn't want to have he didn't want to have it in a vulnerable place. He wanted it somewhere where he could trust the person who had it. He didn't want to release anything that in any way would endanger anyone. That's what he said, Miranda. Let's keep in mind that every single moment that we spend talking about Edward Snowden, we're not talking about the programs of the NSA and Good and point. you know how we're chipping away yes. at our rights and and how we have overstepped as a nation. 
You know, Very we good. allowed this. Every second that we talk about Edward Snowden, we're ignoring that fact. Yeah. Because all we're doing is bickering about how much of a man he is because he went to Costco. Or to Costco. <laughs> yeah, Costco. he went to Costco. I'm a man. I go to he Costco. Got two of those things. Because he went to Moscow. I got the Costco. giant tub of potato salad. I'm playing with my life. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, but that PR campaign that you're referring to has been initiated by Snowden himself. Uh, I understand NBC News asked for the interview. He could just have easily have said, no, I want the story not to be about me. I want the story to be about the issue. He's the one who gave the well, interview now, each now, time. But now, wait a minute. Correct no, me if I'm wrong. On a new cycle. Correct me if I'm wrong, because the only other person here who saw the whole thing beside myself is Dan. Yeah. Dan, Dan read... he really didn't uh, do that. He, he was trying to educate the public about what he believed was going Absolutely. on in that Absolutely. interview. Yeah, and that yes. seemed to be the main purpose. He did still you gave watch the it? interview. Did you watch he, it too, Miranda? Well, he gave the interview. No, he could just um, as easily have said no. No, I mean, you know, listen, there's. Yeah, he but but he said that's yes, that's and what he did with the time was to try and get across what the problem was, and not about himself. I thought uh, that whistleblowers I mean, had special uh, rights or or special treatment that uh, not against that, the government. Well, who else would you blow the whistle against? Well, most uh, whistleblowing is done the in the in the private sector. Uh, yeah. Hey, I was out back taking a smoke break and I <laughs> saw those guys dumping stuff in the uh, river. Yeah, you know, and you can't be fired for that. So they don't have special protections like they do in the private yeah, sector. When you blow the whistle on you know the the NSA and the CIA, you know, for goodness sake. I mean, what do you expect is going to happen? I mean, there's been a long debate in history in this country about whether or not men like uh, Stonewall Jackson and Robert E. Lee were traitors because they were leaders for the Confederacy. You know, were they traitors, for example? I mean, I guess one difference I could lay out there for you without even giving my opinion on it is, you know, at least a man like Stonewall Jackson believed enough in what he was fighting for to give his life. And when the war was over, Robert E. Lee went back home and said, I'll take whatever punishment is handed out to me. He didn't say, well, it's time for me to move to Mexico or flee to France like Jefferson Davis did. He said, this is my country. I chose to do what I did. Those were my actions. And now I will take whatever is given to me. I mean, it turns out we basically just let bygones be bygones. But that's what you do in life. He made a decision. Miranda's got her hand up. Miranda. You know. Patrick, I know you feel this way too. So this is, you know, I'm going to direct it at Josh, but I'm also kind of directing this at you. Josh, don't you feel that Edward Snowden did give up his life? I mean, he had a he had a fantastic job. You know, I lived in a in absolutely fantastic, you know, place. He had a, girl, and he had a girlfriend. And he saw something that was wrong. He spoke up about it, and now ev- you know, his life of comfort completely over. I thought what was interesting in the interview was when he said that uh, when that first question was asked by the reporters in Hong Kong, Greenwald and the woman who was recording it, as soon as he started to answer it, he had this chill go down his back saying, there's no going back now. You know, from here on in, my life is never going to be the same. Yeah. So, he, well, knew, you know, he knew the risk he was taking. But when he was presented with that risk, he, he certainly knew the terror of what he was doing as well. Well, he did give up a lot. I mean, I'm not discounting that he's been personally harmed by it. But what I'm saying is is he basically chose to cut that off at the pass as to where examples that I gave you, uh, they took no actions to cut anything off. They said, I'll take whatever is given to me. You know, I mean— yeah, but is this situation uh, you know, is this situation in a highly technical world, and Miranda can speak to this as well because she's in that highly technical world. Uh, it, this is a different kind of uh, story than the, than we've had in the past. This is not Patrick Henry. He didn't have to deal with encoded materials. You know, this is an entirely different situation. Uh, and uh, uh, the thing I find particularly upsetting is the way our government has totally besmirched him. In other words, has has continually spun a story about this guy saying he isn't this, he isn't that, he's a little weasel. And this is a guy that then asking to come back here and to find an impartial jury to try him. You know, I mean, already his case should be thrown out of court because he can't be tried anywhere after what John Kerry said about him. Miranda? 
Well, and I'm also wondering, you know, would, would Stonewall Jackson been able to walk around in California and not have anyone recognize him? Edward Snowden's face is everywhere. That means that every psychopath that hates him and has a gun can just riddle him with holes if he ever steps foot in this country. And you know what? No one would blame him. Yeah. Uh, Patrick. And, and to that, I would say, well, first of all, I wanted to just correct you. I'm the one that called him a weasel. I don't think the government did. No, no. Basically, uh, today, I mean, I, I could go probably go try and find it, but it would waste our time right now. Uh, Kerry uh, basically said that he was a, um, a, 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 a weasel of sorts. Well, oh, hold on a second. Maybe I can find it. He called him a coward. That's for damn sure. Oh, well, yeah, I called him that, too. Yeah. But I want to answer Miranda. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Everybody, be quiet. Mm -hmm. oh, wait a minute. I can I can play it off this machine. Uh, let me uh, let me just uh, 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 put this up on the machine and see if it'll work. Hold on a second. I just got to assign <laughs> assign the thing. Uh, da, 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 carry on Snowden. Here's what he had to say the other day about Snowden. In case <coughs> you're wondering what he had to say about Snowden, listen to this. Spent a lot of time looking at it. You know full well that over the course of the last year, the opposition was fighting amongst itself. The opposition spent a huge amount of time not this, fighting this against part of it, side, he's but not fighting talking against about yeah, radical extremists. <laughs> and in addition to that, there was a division within it's the Gulf states up, with respect to who- Mr. Secretary, let me ask you about Edward Snowden. He has now given an interview in which he says he was trained by the United States as a spy. How damaging is this disclosure? Well, it's, it's, it's not, it's the same disclosure that everybody's known. Uh, you know, he very cleverly wraps it into his language about, I was a technical person. I didn't go out there and, and, and work with humans, with other people. I wasn't working and interacting with human beings. The bottom line is, this is a man who has betrayed his country, who is sitting in Russia, an authoritarian country, uh, where he has taken refuge. Uh, it, you know, he should man up and come back to the United States if he has a complaint about what's the matter with American uh, surveillance. Come back here and stand uh, in our system of justice uh, and, and, and make his case. But instead, he's just sitting there taking pot shots at his country, violating his oath that he took when he took on the job he took, and, and betraying, uh, I think, uh, uh, you know, the fundamental uh, agreement that he entered into when he became an employee. Uh, and the fact is, he has damaged his country very significantly uh, in many, many ways. He has hurt operational security. He has uh, uh, told terrorists uh, what they can now do to be able to avoid uh, detection. Uh, and I find it sad and disgraceful. Well, I'll tell you, that piece of shit, Kerry. I think is mixing how's up. A, I, how I, does it I feel think, to agree I, I, with I, John I, Kerry, Patrick? Well, no, but Phil. he's mixing up Edward. <laughs> he's, he, I, hold on a second. That's... He's mixing up Edward Snowden with uh, with uh, uh, WikiLeaks. Yeah. Because uh, I don't th show me where he has compromised the United States of America. The only thing he went after was the NSA and the spying on Americans. Oh, phone calls. Yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously, uh, he, the Kerry must know something that we don't. But this, oh, no, this, no, 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 that's bullshit. That's this, bullshit. This is a very unfortunate thing. What, what if he's points. just lying like a motherfucker? Do, well, we then, do we then say that because he's the Secretary of State, he must be telling the truth? Not necessarily, but he knows, uh, he knows things that I wouldn't be privy to. But uh, on the other hand, I think that... Uh, you know, it's unfortunate that I agree with Kerry uh, on on these statements, <laughs> but I believe Snowden has been uh, has been given or doled out a uh, a uh, punishment that's much worse than anything that he could get here. Uh, he had to spend thirty days uh, eating airport food in Moscow. <laughs> now, now, you know, you know how, well, how you, much you, worse you, can it be? Well, you don't know. They might, might have some good. nice I, restaurants I in their airport. I, there. Some I, I was in the Beijing airport and they have some very nice food in the Beijing airport. And that's a communist country. Uh, uh, Miranda. Let's also not forget, you know, what, what Carrie said. Okay. Even if Snowden did reveal something that damaged the country, Snowden didn't do any of this. We did it ourselves. Uh, the United States has been 
prac you know using these practices all he yeah. he's just a tattletale that's all he life. is that's all it's called a rat not a tattletale uh, no, you I'm, know I'm, but I'm it's easy it's easy to call so names phil but you know what i would gets me a little them. little bothered is this whole idea that because he's the secretary of state he must know something we don't, and therefore yeah. he is the empirical I mean, truth might, on anything. But... When in fact it's your government that's going to be the first one to lie to you if they're if it's in their best interest. And, and Kerry, you can ninety five percent of the yeah. time the Republicans will be right with you on there, but they're uh, this is uh... this is not a Democrat versus Republican thing. Sure, yeah. not at all. No, it's I, not. Uh, I guess you Pat... didn't like Oliver North either. Oh, he was an asshole. Oh God, that motherfucker. That, so, he's selling drugs? The drug dealer, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> I, I like them. He, he was a drug oh, dealer. Course. He was dealing drugs for, for, for ammunition to take over to, where was it? It was Iran, wasn't it? Uh, Iran-Contra. Yeah, Iran. yeah. So but he was, got, he was, dealing, he was dealing drugs to get money. Uh, to get I thought it was weapons. Uh, oh, well, they used the drugs. And he then they sold the drugs the to get the money, to get the weapons, to give to Iran, who is now our sworn enemy, of Patrick. So you, you honestly don't believe that whether it's Kerry or, or the president, that they actually know more than what they would be telling? Because why in the world would the government disclose classified information that Snowden may or may not have given, why would they admit to that? That would be the dumbest thing in the world. I think Kerry is smart for just blanketing it because there probably is information that if he admitted and said, yes, Edward Snowden uh, revealed X, Y, and Z, well, our enemy could be using that. So but it also confirms it. Anything. What do you mean it confirms it? Because it came out of that lying motherfucker's no, mouth, no. who, it, by it, the it, way, it, a few years he, ago you it, hated when he was Patrick running for said, president? What, what Patrick said is that if the if he uh, said that Snowden uh, exposed X, Y, and Z, it would confirm it to our uh, to our enemies that his, it was correct but, information. Then, then, then don't accuse him of it because you can't prove it because you can't say it. It is, it is a libelous statement that jeopardizes his ability to get a fair trial in this country. Libel? Libel? Yes, it's libel. <laughs> it's, if it's not true, it's libel. Trust me, he's a radio guy. He knows all about libel. Yes, I bet, yeah. He's a traitor to his own country. Lie. Oh, God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. First, first, well, first somebody, says, somebody, oh, do, me, do me a, a favor, somebody. They trained me as a spy. I was a spy. And then after they train him, they sent him to do a job, and he doesn't like it. So then he goes and tells, and then he doesn't want any punishment for it. It's like, I thought you were a spy. Do your fucking job. This is just, I told you yesterday, this is just like when you join the military, and then you don't like your orders. It's not your fucking business. Do what you're spy. fucking told. I mean, oh, you're a spy. So well, what, if, what, if in the, what if you're in the what if you're in the military spy, and then wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, what, his what, what if you're what if you're in the military and you're Doesn't told make it better you're told to do something which you find uh, we just lost uh, uh, Charlene but Charlene. you know uh, she didn't want to sleep on camera she didn't want to sleep on camera <laughs> exactly <laughs> but, by the way we we do have uh, some uh, 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 a couple open, open spaces if anybody wants to call and join in on this conversation we also lost uh, our other guy from Wisconsin. Uh, so give us a call. Uh, uh, Great American Broadcast is the Skype uh, handle you use in order to get to us. It's very simple. Or go to the Great American Broadcast. Uh, uh, go to great, gabroadcaster.com. And on that page, there's just a place where you can click. It says call. Click on that after you've initiated your, uh, uh, your Skype and, and you'll get to us. But we'd love to hear from you and have some people uh, join in on this. Um, so Snowden is a guy that came in, the spy that came in with a cold. What? Well, you know, uh, it's it's a it's a, a the spy that came in with a cold. You know, a chew. Okay. But the, the, uh, but the day that you start letting mid-level analysts or spies, because he says he was spy, the day that you start letting those mid-level people decide that they know more than the folks at the top, and and what's going on here isn't right, is is very 
disheartening to me. Now I understand that the actions, the activity <laughs> that he witnessed was was very suspect and may needed to have been stopped. Okay, but at, but too bad. You have to take the good with the bad in these kind of things because if you let him off the hook. I mean, you just you can't let mid-level people let me, decide let me, let me, that let me, they don't like the let, way the yeah, top has but, decided to run things. Then fucking quit your job, go home, get another fucking job, and keep your fucking mouth well, shut. Let me let me broad. Basically, he's a soldier that deserted. Oh, oh, hold on a second. <laughs> hold on a second. It, okay, uh, let me just say something, Miranda, and I'll let you say. Keep your thought. Okay. Let's move this conversation a little bit as well. I mean, what is the responsibility of a human being? Uh, when he gets marching orders, and those marching orders go against his conscience, w it, would you have said to a German soldier, yes, you've got to drop those pellets so those Jews will die in that gas chamber because you're under orders? That's exactly what they did. W well, and that's right, their fucking that's excuse. Exactly what and, they and, did. And, and, and a pox but on all their houses. Do that. You know, uh, uh, Miranda. Well, I, I can't help but think about children being educated on the revolutionary war you know we were all taught in school that you know a, a bunch of guys you know stood up to king george and said hey that's not right and you know what they were labeled traitors they were you know they they were persecuted and everything and and yep. guess what we wouldn't be here today without people standing up for what's right but exactly. you're talking about a mass yeah. movement of of mass people and we're talking it about it started one somewhere though it started with the That's first person true. that stood up and said this is not right and damn it i need to say something about it and they were yeah. willing to die for it and they didn't turn exactly. tail and go to another country yeah. and say so. They stayed right fucking here. None of them ran they off to the south of France. That's because they didn't have to go to another country to do it. They were already physically separated from the person that they were given the big middle finger to. Uh, had, had they lost the war, that wouldn't have been the case. I can tell you that. Oh. We didn't have planes back then either. <laughs> well, I mean, it was you know. I think we're, we're it's apples and oranges here, you know. Uh, oh, but Rob, by the way, we've been joined. We've been joined by Rob Alfano. I haven't heard from you in a while, Rob. Hello. Yeah, I've been very busy. Yeah, I would imagine. Uh, uh, you want to join in on this conversation in any way at the moment? It sounds fascinating. I have not been able to listen to it. I just came in and heard the discussion, and I'm like, hmm, I wonder what they're talking about. Yeah. Because here's the point, you know, to begin with, Miranda brings up a very important point. You know, we are raised in this country to idolize all those people who held a revolution in this country and, and to, to look upon them with great pride and to, you know, uh, I have only one life to give for my country and all of that. And then when you and your modern version of that attempt to do something uh, to rebel against the system, and he had to do it from a, uh, outside the country because if he did it inside the country, he would have been closed down so fast that he would have never been able to get that material out. That's so true. that was a tactical maneuver he had to take. It wasn't cowardice. It would have been cowardice if he was in possession of this material and did nothing about it. Miranda. Um, I'm just agreeing with you. Oh, because I, I <laughs> thought you raised your hand there. No. Nope. So. Oh, well, look who's got his hand raised. Patrick. Okay. Happy birthday. Now, you're, <laughs> you're right. We are, we are to idolize those people, but here's the deal. In case anyone forgotten, the British were on our soil. And this was a British-run area. Well, the question is, was it our soil? Wait a minute. <laughs> the people we're talking about, Nathan Hale and Patrick Henry and all of those people, yeah. they created a revolution yeah. within enemy territory. They were surrounded by the British, and they were willing to say fuck you to King George and lose their life for it. Well, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, th I, I think... I... This little weeny whiny kid... <laughs> Here we go again with the weeny whiny the kid. So that he could do this. You know what? He is not a patriot. He is not to be revered because he fucking turned tail and left. If he would have stayed here, 
like a responsible adult rather than saying man up or like a man, mm -hmm. then I would have more respect for him. But like Josh said, he was mid-level. He looked at himself as a hero. You know what? He's a piece of shit. And he I, don't think, I don't think at any point he's ever called himself a hero. He said he was a patriot. He, uh, he was a patriot. Oh, it yeah. doesn't. Uh, uh, hey, uh, Rand Paul calls himself a patriot, and he's anything yeah. but. Okay, uh, uh, a lot of your little Republican pals use that word patriot like oh, it was yeah. a bathrobe. You know, uh, so don't don't. He if they have the right to use the word patriot, so does he, Miranda. You, you know, I, I keep hearing people say he was mid level. He was this, and he claims he was trained as a spy and everything. You, you know what? He worked for an organization built on secrets. I don't think we're ever going to know what level he truly was operating at because the government is going to say, oh, no, 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 he was just mid-level or he was low-level. And he's going to, you know, turn around and, well, obviously he had access to to some, you know, pretty sensitive doc documents. So um, may maybe he was mid-level and somehow he got a supervisor to, to grant him access or something, but... You know, he's probably going to be inflating where he was, and the government would say, no, 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 he was way, way lower, and we're never going to know what level he was truly operating at. Well, here's here's the thing. I have uh, I have a guy I know. I won't say who, and I won't say how I know him, who is, works for the NSA. And he will never tell you what he does at the NSA. Uh, he will say, I'm an analyst or something like that. You know, the, these terms they use, uh, especially in the CIA, the, you know what the word analyst means? Uh, the word analyst means you assign spies to go here and to go there, and sometimes you go over to that country to collect the information from them. You're probably the head of the spies if you're an analyst. But the term is analyst, you know? And so yeah. we will, uh, you're right. We'll never know exactly what Edward Snowden did or didn't do there. But apparently, he did something that allowed him to get this material. And if you think the guy hasn't accomplished anything, guess what we're talking about tonight? Yeah, guess what the, the and John heated, Kerry's been talking about. Guess yeah. what the president's been talking about. Well, what John Kerry's you know. all pissed about, he, he's, he's livid because he has to go look Angela Merkel in the face <laughs> when she says to him, so how come you were bugging my phone? And that's a pretty embarrassing uh, question to answer. Geez, uh, uh, yeah. I don't doubt that. I, I guess what I'm saying is what you open the door for is under your guise of how it should work is SEAL Team 6 could have said, you know, I really don't want to kill Osama bin Laden. I, I think I'll sit this one out. Now, if you don't want to go do that as Alex Bennett, that's fine. You didn't join the Navy. You didn't ask to be a SEAL. They did. And if they had said that, you know what? You're out of the but fucking where, Navy. Where does conscience... See you later, pal. Wait, but I mean, that's how it works. Like, 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 like the Germans... Who else is going to be able to do what he did? Hold on Like the Germans at Dachau, okay, or, or any of the concentration camps, where does your responsibility begin and end? What responsibility do you have to conscience? What responsibility do you have to your people to warn them that something's going on? That's my well, question. You can say no. I still don't think gassing people to death and t telling the world the government listens to your phone calls, which, as I told you yesterday, duh, we knew that before. No, but I think that they're And then similar. asking to be recognized for it or having other people on your behalf and you're not denying that you're at, you know, uh, they're asking on your behalf to be recognized for it or are just two entirely different things. I, I, think I, mean, the, I think the reason they are similar is that we're talking here about acts of conscience about things that you're being asked to do that all of a sudden you see that you find it impossible to do it because it goes against your conscience. Even though you signed up for the military or you signed right. a thing saying, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the work for you or whatever, that at what point does conscience have to overrule? There's, I'll bet there's something each person on this panel believes in highly enough that, and I don't know what it is, that that would cross that line for him. I mean, would it ever cross that line for you, Phil? At, at uh, some point dropping around? pellets uh, on a room full of innocent people, yes. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Divulging uh, information uh, that I was sworn to uphold, uh, no. 
but um, even if even if the information was about you know no matter what the information was it was I mean, phone calls and the, and those phone calls were being listened to for my protection you really uh, believe that you swallowed yeah you, you i believe that the reason that uh, now these phone calls were supposed to be for uh, uh f not for domestic but for uh, international calls uh made uh, from uh, domestic phones and received by domestic phones. And these international calls have uh, stopped uh, the terrorist attacks that we suffered in this country. Uh, uh, and now, you know, we've had homegrown attacks. And the reason that we probably have homegrown attacks is that they're not listening to the chatter of the domestic phones. Oh. And, but, but, but by, by, by the, the way, Boston wasn't so a home. Be Boston was more and, uh, and, and more yeah. denying hold our on, rights. Hold on a second, Dan. Boston, for instance, <laughs> yeah. wasn't a homegrown. Uh, these these people <laughs> lived in uh, you know they lived there. They, they were they were there. citizens, kids, but they kept going back kids. and forth between here and and the and the, and the Middle East. They were getting trained. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they and they were, I don't believe they were citizens of the United I'm States sure. either. Or one may have been, the other one wasn't. One. Yeah. Of them. They he went back and forth a couple times. The older one. Yeah. I mean, the, the fact of the matter is that this this notion that you're being protected because. Uh, you you're willing to give up your rights to Not be all protected. Of them. Well, no, no, but you're willing to give up your rights. You know, you give up Some one. Rights. You, Some you, rights. You say not all of them. If you give up even one right, that gives somebody the door but open to take over. Why? I, I, I hate to say this, tomorrow. but that's, yeah. that's that's Absolutely. the same argument that the NRA is using yeah. uh, uh, when it comes to giving up uh, uh, different guns. I'm not trying to derail anything, but I'm just saying that, that you're using the logic that the NRA is doing. Uh, and, and applying it to different circumstances. Rob, you have something you wanted to add? I have a question for Phil because I didn't know this. You spoke with uh, with a lot of, uh, you know, like you were certain. We know that some of these calls have led to um, quelling some attack on the United States. Is there, any, is there any real proof of that, or are you just coincidence that we haven't had an attack? Coincidence. Uh, you know, oh. and in my so, position, because you would it's think that they would come out. You would think at this point they would come out and say, you, you, "Look what we have done. We 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 yeah. stop this. No, we because, stop oh, that." Rob, you don't want to divulge uh, that you information. You don't have to say too much, but you can come out and say, "We look, we look. This is what we we've did. We've thwarted sixty-three attacks in the yeah. last year alone. Yeah. Tell us what you've done with this information. You don't have to given. give details, specifics." Yeah, uh, whenever you divulge any information, you're giving uh, aid to the enemy. Uh, the less they know, the better. It's old news. Well, but here's 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 my here's my point to you, uh, Phil, mm -hmm. is that uh, a nation that wants to subvert the rights of its people, the best way to do it is to frighten them into thinking yeah. mm -hmm. that there is a perceivable threat. And there may be a perceivable threat, but that you have the solution if that those people will just give up a little bit of their rights. The and that's exactly what that's exactly what the Bush administration did in this country. The luckiest day in George Bush's life was the day those two buildings came down. Uh, I'm yep. sure he would have rather continued to read to school children than have to deal with 3,500 people jumping uh, out of a building. Now they you know, used the it as a pretense. Yes. To grab uh, away that, some of our most hallowed rights using exactly. a thing called the Patriot Act. There's he, that and, word again. And he was he was still reeling at the at, by the time when September 11th came around. He was still reeling from the notion that well, he's not really legitimate president because of the Supreme Court. He wasn't case. the legitimate president until those two yeah. buildings came down, and then everybody all of a sudden right. you couldn't say anything bad about the president yeah. because we had to get behind our president because yeah. he was going to protect us from the cat outside the mouse hole. Well. Uh, uh, you know, you, uh, you can have your opinions about Bush. I have mine about Obama, but Obama was hey, elected. Hey, I don't like Obama. I think Obama sucks, but that has nothing to do with the fact that there was a wholesale uh, theft of this country by the Bush administration. I don't know. The, the hanging chad could have come out the other way. You, you know, It wasn't uh, going to come out the other way because they rigged it. Well, you know, I, I guess they found enough uh, dead people that were voting Democratic to, to oh. uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, here we go. Here we but go. But look, uh, 
I, I don't believe uh, that there was a conspiracy. I believe that we have enemies. And even in 1967, uh, I, during the 67 war, right after the war, Sheikh Yamini, uh, I was listening to him on the radio. In my science class, uh, I had a, one, a little transistor radio, and I'm listening to this guy, and he says, we can't win a war against the West militarily, mm -hmm. so we're going to fight one economically, and our weapon is oil. And this guy is the head of OPEC, and we've been dealing with him for 40, 50 years, and... Uh, and these people have been at war with us, uh, and we haven't. Uh, all we're doing is turning the other cheek. Uh, if we listen, turning the other cheek. Che yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Actually, so, yeah, it was a bad pun because it's pronounced shake. But you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, well, uh, anyway, uh, we've been at war since 1967, and uh, we haven't we haven't recognized it. If we have to do uh, our the NSA is there to uh, to monitor to find out information and and sometimes uh, getting this information uh, isn't the prettiest thing in the world. Did you never did you thing. never re read 1984? Or well, yes. Yeah. Did you not get anything out of that about the possibility of Big Brother? watching no, everything I, you're doing. I felt it was the beginning you of know, Starbucks. I would like and to think, Soma. I would like to add another freedom to the Constitution. Yeah. One that we don't have and that would be well needed in this day and age, and that is the right to anonymity. Mm. In this day and age, that's going to be tough. In the internet. But, uh, that just Google doesn't exist or, anymore. I yeah. know, but it, w it would be nice if we had that right, or at least, if nothing more, it was respected. Yeah. The fact the, the, is uh, that what, the, you, what you're doing is you're arguing for the government based on what the government is saying. The government is only saying what uh, is in their best interest to tell well, you. You know, I, I, Carrie, I, is, Carrie, I, I is not, Carrie is not livid because this little punk went out and, you know, Grabbed a, a bunch of papers and I showed. Know he's embarrassed. Uh, he's embarrassed. I, I understand. As well, he should be. Uh, although uh, he was embarrassed by a soldier that is sworn mm -hmm. uh, to to uphold his job. This is not some guy. He's not a soldier. The, 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 Look, the guy. He, the guy in Germany was sworn to uphold his job too. The the guy who dropped the Zyklon gas. I I understand. Swore. And you know it's uh, it's it's perplexing that uh, that I had to even think about that, but um, you know I, I understand what they did. Uh, they you know it's what happened in Germany. Uh, there's there's no there's no excuse for it, and and you know as as a human being I wouldn't want this to happen in Iran or Syria or any other place. Uh, where uh, and and uh, Iraq, you know, with when uh, Saddam Hussein was killing his own people, and it, it was mass graves with hundreds, hundreds and thousands of people uh, that he, he had killed. I think three hundred thousand. Uh, you know, uh, I thought that this should have been stopped, and uh, you know, I would have wanted my government to stand up and do the right thing. Even if it's for the enemies of my uh, yeah. of my people. No, well, the uh, the people in Iraq uh, did rise up against Saddam Hussein in the south, uh, yeah, and and, got, and, uh, and and they had the assurances of, uh, of, of of Schwarzkopf and the then Elder Bush uh, uh -huh. uh, that that if they if they rose up against Saddam Hussein, we'd be there to help yeah. them. And the minute they did, we didn't, and he, is Saddam Hussein slaughtered all those people down there. Well, yes. whose blood is uh, who? Who whose hands are the, is that blood on? Uh, yeah, Saddam Hussein did do the the deed, but we didn't do what we said we were going to do. And so they went in there bare and naked, without any kind of protection, doing our dirty work, and then we didn't even come to defend them. I am not happy about uh, you know the fact that our government. Uh, gave, said they would give support and then uh, backed out. Kennedy did the same thing at the Bay of Pigs, and um, you know I don't know the whole story with uh, with that, but I do know that um, we've allowed a genocide to happen, uh, whether it was in Germany, in Syria, or in Iraq, and uh, and that shouldn't be allowed. 
And that's what I would like my government to do is to stand up and to make sure yeah, that that before, doesn't happen. I think before we can be the policemen of the world, we should get our shit together. Well, I mean, I, I, I think that we are... Our that ship sailed, though, unfortunately. I, I think, but the NSA shameful. finds yeah. out this information and, mm -hmm. and helps us to, uh, uh, this, you know, to do what is the right thing to do. Yeah. And uh, so sometimes getting this information is dirty. And, uh, you know, if, if you're going to remain uh, squeaky clean, you're not going to get it. Well, I mean, I just I, I think you're living in a in a kind of uh, movie world, uh, and I think that you're living in a certain naivete when you think that our government is so squeaky clean that they're not going to lie to you. With this I, this government, whether and, and not and this this particular administration, but most administrations in the last 25, 30 years have lied to us consistently. I'm not saying I don't I don't trust the government to tell me the truth. But, you know, I do say that they need to uh, use the facilities that they, that they have to gather information uh, for our protection. But, but who but watches the... Just, wait a minute. Here's, here's, the, here's, the, here's the crux of the question. Who watches, who the, watches watch. the watchers? Right. right. If you don't trust the government to tell you the truth, how do you even... How do you, you know, how do you reconcile the fact that you want to give away all these freedoms to them? I don't want to and give also, away all also, these freedoms. I'm willing to compromise uh, for the good of the uh, for the good of all. There is no compromise in freedom. The only people that are entrusted with maintaining your freedom and your freedom of speech and all the freedoms the Constitution supposedly gives us is you. And who the minute says we you, have a women, right to privacy? And the minute the minute you give it up, the minute you give it up, you are allowing them to knock down your door. Alex, who says we have a right to privacy on our phone calls? Uh, you know, uh, you know, we, I, I, I don't, I don't see it. You mean you we don't, don't have a right you, to you privacy you, on a radio you, you, conversation? You, you don't care. But that's a public. That's different. That's, it's different. That's a public yeah. airwave. It, well, it can be picked uh, up by anybody. But with they're a not radio. using. They're not using wires more, anymore. More everything, that's, everything's that's, on the internet. Everything's yes, on the airwaves. But those are all public. But if I want to make a private phone private call, phone call, I should be able to make it without anybody listening into it. It's amazing you that want, Americans in this day and age would would ask that question. That yes. you know, who has the who, who what says we have the right to private phone calls or the conversation? Like, Patrick, ah. you got your hand raised. Yeah, I I just wanted to follow up on something Phil said earlier and you know you 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 said it a couple of times now about giving up rights I would just point out again the second amendment I mean and then I'll follow that up with what Josh has said numerous times that's, that's... that if you don't like it you can change it we have the ability to well, vote people in to right. change Every amendments four years. So, I think I mean, Josh is a little naive in that regard, though. I don't think we can change it. I think the, 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 the way this government was set up, originally, we could have changed it. There was a time. I think that time has passed. I don't think you have the right to change it. You don't get to that point in government where you can be elected president and still have the freedom to make those kinds of decisions. You could promise it, but I don't think that... Your president, I don't care who it is, has the right to do certain things. Mm -hmm. We're joined by David Hajek. Uh, oh. I always have trouble with your last name, David. Uh, Hello, Hajek, Alex. You've been hearing what we've been talking about. Oh, yeah. I, w I would like to follow on anything Phil has said, but there is no enough time. You know? <laughs> I'm, well, I know. Be I'm, 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 I'm about to explode about everything Phil is saying, but there is no time. Well, go ahead. Try a little bit. What are some of the things that bothered you? No, keep going. I just, uh, I would get upset again. I just like oh, the conversation. We love it when you get uh, upset. Yeah, yeah, I know. Get upset is not fun. I'm just saying that, 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 that Republicans are brain-damaged people, you know. <laughs> most of them. Well, then, I, I said yesterday, uh, and, and I, I understand that Phil is your friend. I respect him, everything. But I like Phil. He reminds me of my crazy, crazy Republican Uncle Kerr. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like oh. Phil a lot. Well, I, I, I like just, doing battle with him. Yeah, no. I, respect <laughs> Phil. I believe he's a nice guy, but, but, but I mean, what he's saying, 
I just don't agree with like 99 percent. You know? Yeah, and that's why we're here. This is a good place for it, you know. I'm surprised. I'm surprised, David, that you know you're from a country that uh, was overrun by the communists. And uh, well, who would and, know and better all... about things being yeah, tapped? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you know, and 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 to see uh, your country crushed like that in a matter of days, and then not, uh, you know, to to say that these, you know, these people aren't our enemies, and that uh, we don't need to keep tabs on them, uh, is 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 crazy. You know, uh, it's and keep tabs on ourselves. That's the main thing. You know, our phones. we're responsible for our own freedoms. We know? should be tapping the government's phones. Yeah. Now, <laughs> did, now did, uh, did Snowden say that they were listening in on domestic calls or just calls? Snowden said they were they were listening in on domestic calls. To target well. it, they could, they could target any call. They, well, that's true. They, they can it, target any call, but they said that uh, the government has said that they were uh, that it's a very random thing, and all they're doing is trying to but pick up you, certain words. So you, tr you the the Republican, trust mm -hmm. the government and trust them to tap. Th all the calls will be the right calls. And yet you tell us Obama's tap. terrible. Which, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you hate the government. Well, I don't, well, I don't, think, it, I don't think it matters. See, wait, wait, I, let I, let Josh say something. Oh, well, yeah. If Phil needs to finish something, he can. I, um, go ahead, because what I'm going to say. Will, Fucking blow your mind. So okay. no, say no, say okay. it. Okay. You see, oh, I, cool. I, I think that this, this, phone, this phone tapping stuff started uh, before Obama, and uh, oh, yeah. and sure. so you know I, I I'm not blaming Obama for it. He's just continuing the party. Right. Right. Go ahead, Josh. Well, I, I mean, all I was gonna say was, I don't mean I don't think it matters. It is a Republican whether or not he trusts the government or doesn't. I mean, he's just a a guy. I mean. That's his decision. Yeah. I mean, I'm as leftist as I you're going to get. A little okay? facetious, but, facetious there. But I, oh, I understand. I just mean, but other people say it, and they're not being. Yeah. I mean, I'm as leftist as you're going to get, uh, you know, on social, economics. I mean, uh, I don't like the Patriot Act at all, et cetera, et cetera. But here's, you know, the thing about Snowden, for example, is, and I, you'll need to let me make the whole statement to understand why I'm going to blow your mind, is, you know, you really don't know, we anyway, what information he has, what damage he could really do, um, even if he didn't mean to. I mean, even if he has information and it's spread out and he took steps, other people could get a hold of it, could compromise people, et cetera, et cetera, whether he has it or not. But for instance, in, in a hypothetical, if I were told that he had information that could do that, that could bring down our intelligence networks or get people in the field killed, et cetera, et cetera, and you told me he's got it and we've got to get it, he'd be the next guy SEAL Team 6 was fucking looking for. I mean, and, and I would sleep just fine. I'll go right back to the ball game. Yep, go. you got the order, do it. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, <laughs> if you're telling me it's his life for 100 others and the security of the American people, I have no problem with that. Okay, but now let's... I mean, let, he let, signed let, up let, to play the game of war, let, and there are pawns, yeah. rooks, kings, and queens in this fucking game. Uh, okay, but let's... he says he's a pawn, okay, so but he's let's, going to get treated like let, one. Let, oh, okay. <laughs> let, me, uh, let, me, let me, though, throw this at you. Suppose it's the opposite of what you think it is, and, uh, gee, we have a little, somebody named Larson. Uh, uh, let's see oh. here. Hello, Larson, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me all right? Okay, yeah, good. Fine. Just yeah. stay there a second. We'll get to you in a moment. Uh, all I was going to say to Josh is you're, you're saying, well, if we knew that he had stuff that would kill people or uh, would be of a danger to people, then we should go in and get him. What if he doesn't? What if all he has is all this stuff about the tapping that was going on and about the surveillance and well, the kind of programs that were initiated and had nothing to do with any names that would get anybody killed? Would you say then we well, should? No, then I then I would leave it alone. I, I like I said, I would yeah. have to be offering me yeah. intelligence or proof of that. As it currently stands, if he does not, I mean, and if the government knows that. My position on this is not to bring him home and have him hanged. I would sit more from a let bygones be bygones kind of position, very similar to Lincoln mm. looked at the South. I'll tell you what, what I would tell him is, you know what, you can't come home. You gave that up. You say you're proud of it. Have a nice life living wherever you, we will not pursue yeah. you. We will not bother you. South but of if France you come back is here, nice. you will yeah. have to pay the penalty. Uh, if me, you do not, 
you are free to go. Let me ask Larson. Josh, just joined. Can I, uh, where can we send your Republican voter registration form? Larson, Larson. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me. Uh, Larson called. Uh, Larson, do you have any comment on what we're talking about? Oh, I, <clears throat> but I'll try to keep it brief. Yeah. Um, from my point of view, what I've heard discussing tonight very passionately and intelligently, <clears throat> excuse me, is. Uh, people tending to their fears. We have some very real fears and very honest fears. And uh, um, the thing that always concerns me is uh, maybe better than Orwell's 1984 is I, I always felt very passionate about Enemy of the State, the movie with uh, Will Smith and Gene Hackman. And I think the problem here that we don't want to admit because it would really scare us is I don't think you can trust anybody. And <laughs> I, I, I really don't. No, what, whatever I hear anymore, I just, I don't know that I believe it. Mm -hmm. I, you you know, I don't know if Snowden's a hero. I, I respect the fact that, that, that he stood up and that he said something. And I really appreciate that kind of passion. Um, I always find it interesting that uh, he broke ranks with w what his contract was to do, yet people don't seem to have a problem with breaking a contract with what it is to be an American, and we have our rights. People seem to give up their rights a whole lot faster than when it comes to this spy thing than when somebody in the military says that they've made a, a, a promise to not say anything. I, I respect the fact anytime somebody wants to say something when they're not supposed to because wow. I don't trust anybody. Very good. Yeah. Uh, you know, very, very well stated. True stuff. Uh, anybody uh, want to disagree with that? Phil, Patrick. No. <laughs> I mean, what, I trust Alex. It, what, well, what about your, you know, the question is, what about your pact with America? You know, uh, and, and the pact that you have to keep it free. I mean, it's only going to be as free a country as you fight to keep it. And, right. and you talk, uh, Phil, that you want guns because... You never know when there's going to be some kind of hostile government that will come along, and you've got to use the guns. Then who who was saying that the other day? Uh, uh, you know, um, the, the thing Alan with West. these AK-47s and all of those things—they're not necessary for home defense within the home. But uh, if there was anarchy, a uh, major earthquake, uh, atomic bomb, something like that, and then there there could be hordes of people. The Kardashians going to could move into your neighborhood. But, things yeah, like exactly. that. Yeah. Uh, in you that know, case, then yes, they'd be uh, running around in Bentleys. Uh, but you know, the thing, <laughs> the the thing is, if if uh, if there was uh, anarchy in the streets uh, and you were trying to protect your family, mm -hmm. uh, then uh, you know, I don't see why someone shouldn't own those things. Uh, but you know, those weapons, the AK-47s, they're no different than a hunting rifle. It's just the way they look. What? Come on! It's, get it's, it's just AK, the, uh, those are weapons of mass destruction. No, they're they not. Are. They're, 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 wait a minute! Wait a minute! Let David speak. I always okay. I always yeah, like right. to hear David because it's he unbelievable. AK forty seven is much 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 more dangerous than some some rifle. Uh, okay, uh, David, I I have a I have a bolt action Remington seven hundred. I believe you've got plenty of them. By no, now, and, yeah. and it a bolt it shoots it shoots two two three rounds uh 223 is the caliber so it's just yeah. a little bit bigger than a 22 caliber bullet uh yeah, so. with a powder charge well, now, welcome to the, the latest episode of buck masters hmm? welcome buck to the latest episode of buck masters yeah right. well it's the same bullet that's in the ak-47 so uh I you know, know but, but the ak-47 can shoot a lot more of them like hundreds, hundreds, hundreds <laughs> yeah, of very good you know, no. Those are fully automatic weapons, which are not legal in this country, except for very few oh, people. Oh, man, that's, uh, you know, that, 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 our rights are being deprived. I should be able to have as many machine guns as I want. Well, uh, uh, you know, but... Uh, the uh, Second Amendment says so. No, uh, but the better minds have prevailed, and uh, automatic weapons oh, and, and, and rocket launchers oh. and things like that aren't... Uh, oh, they've things been that you can know. Wait a minute. Aren't, so aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't, aren't they? Guns are okay. hold, on, hold on a second, Dan. Aren't they arms? Yeah. Uh, isn't a sure? rocket launcher a form of arms? I mean, would it not I be considered arms? I want a nuclear arms? missile in my backyard, Alex. Where can oh. I get one? 
Uh, I think I might be <laughs> able to help you with us. that one. Yeah. Costco. Now maybe Costco has them. You they have Costco. Caskets. They're made by Kirkland. Yeah. <laughs> They're taped together. Uh, yeah. yeah, you got to buy two of them at a time. It's, <laughs> it's a, little, a little expensive. If you I may, but you know the good thing about them. Uh, the good thing about them is, if you, wants if, yeah, if you don't right, like right. if you don't like the bombs you buy at Costco, you, you can you can take them back. That's good. And they yeah. never question it. Larson. <laughs> well, one other thing I, I want to say about this gun thing, of which I'm very passionate, also is um, if the caca hits the fan, as I hear so many. Uh, conservative, neoconservative types talk about, um, my experience has been, in, certainly in my profession, the thing that's going to get us through that is the fact that we that we bind together mm -hmm. and instead of all feeling like we have to uh, tend to that fear by getting a gun and going out and shooting the evildoers. Mm -hmm. um, if the caca hits the fan, I don't think the government is going to be able to find its way out of its own backside. And I think the only way any of us will survive is if we like you say, uh, work together. Larson, in, in a lot of situations, that's true. When we had the earthquake in 1989 you had, in San Francisco, you had people out directing traffic and, uh, and, and doing the right thing. But if you look at other countries, when they have uh, these kinds of uh, issues, there's looting, there's, uh, uh, there's, uh, there's so much disarray in, in because everybody street. has a gun. Yeah, but in San Francisco, uh, the reason they didn't loot is the granola slowed them down. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I mean, when, like I've seen like news reports from, like last year when they had those tornadoes and things like that. You know, that that's true. People come together. It's not like a, a anarchy and, a, a, you know, situation. It's like people help each other. It, it also depends. Well, yeah. then you can also look at something like New Orleans. Look what happened down there. That's true. I mean, true. on top that's of everything, true, the, pol the police were killing people, you know? Yeah. I mean, it was amazing. So that was just mayhem. So Bush's fault, right? Huh? <laughs> it was Bush's fault. No, I, I never it, brought it, his All, all it was Bush's yeah. fault were those damn, name, those damn trailers that he sent down there. You know, the, oh, with the formaldehyde? With the yeah. formaldehyde, yeah. yeah. Phil brought his name up, we did. Yeah. So. But, but you're doing a great job, Brownie. Now get the fuck out of here. Remember that one? <laughs> you know. uh, is, as soon as the president says you're doing a great job, uh, 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 General Shinseki, uh, you're out You know, the next yeah. day. I think Larson needs to call in earlier. Yeah, next Larson, time. you got to call yeah. more often, Larson. You're yeah, great. You're a smart dude. Why don't we hear from you more often, Larson? Uh, because I have kids, and uh, they don't usually go down until you guys uh, are about off the air. Oh, okay. Well, just oh, I'll tell you kids, what you do. You give them. A, you ever heard of, heard of Xanax? <laughs> yes. How about morphine? You ever heard of morphine? Because you're Jim Beam. You're terrific. <laughs> I could use you on my side here because you know I got Patrick and I got yeah. Phil. And uh, the, between the two of them, they beat up on me real good. Yeah. Well, it, it wasn't I'm until I'm trying, Alex. I'm trying. It, it, my it, best. it wasn't until I I pissed them off enough to call in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And thank you for that, <laughs> Phil. I appreciate. it. You didn't uh, piss me off. I'm just yeah, trying to help and, you with your fear. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. And and just to say, I you know uh, after we've been doing all this uh, beat partisan beating up, I like Phil. I like your sense of humor. You're I, a funny guy, but. But uh, something, I don't know. Uh, one thing is that, if I say it real quick, how long have you been listening to Alex Bennett? Uh, since the 60s. Yeah. yeah. And you still and you still buy into the Republican BS? <laughs> I haven't That's... been able to change him. Hey, listen. I know, you haven't been listen, able to change him, uh, Alex. We, you <laughs> know, uh, part we... of it is uh, I, I, I take a position yeah. and... Uh, uh, try to defend it. Ne not necessarily uh, am I as as far to that side as you would think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, hey, listen, we got we got to go here. Uh, this right. has been just a great show, everybody. Yeah, Patrick, happy birthday, Patrick. Hey. Uh, happy birthday, Patrick. And, and, and happy Rob, birthday. Rob will be listening for your. Uh, for your rewinds all weekend long here on GabNet. Uh, really great shows. Uh, very enjoyable and gives people a good idea of what we're about. Yeah, make sure you put it in there. I said I'd have that motherfucker smoked. 
Yeah. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> Phil, oh, oh. thank you for calling. Always love it. Dan Meyer. Uh, 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 David, you got to call more and longer because uh, you're just, you're, you're fun. You're yeah, real fun. Yeah, if Phil is on, I'm going to be on, no uh, matter what. Okay, yes. great. Please, we look forward to Josh, it. Josh, always yes. great having you here. Larson, we hope we hear from you more. Miranda, have a nice night. Thank you. Everybody, right. thank you for and being right. here. Thank you, Alex. And I'm Alex and be Bennett, well. and we'll see you again on Monday. And if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Okay.